Hey, what's up guys? I have uh, completed the project that I was on yesterday. And so I got that already installed in the house. So it's not in the shop anymore. And as I was putting it up, I thought to myself, I didn't show you guys the final product while it was in my shop. So, and I'm out in the shop now, so I'm not in the house, but I've got a picture pulled up that I'll show you. So this is uh, a picture that I took before I took it in. And so you can see the shelf there and you can see the shelf there and the pipe comes right here and it kind of curves up and through that piece of uh, wood. And then I've got, uh, that is a, a T and then I've got a four inch pipe and then another T and then a, like a floor flange. And between those two is what they call like a, uh, so just a threaded piece actually it's not even a there's not a solid piece of pipe on it. it's just all thread just a really short short piece of all thread and then another one there and then another flange and so that allows me to screw that shelf into here uh, initially I was gonna do a floor flange on top of that and right there and have two of them uh, but that would have been four four pipes, um, same amount of flanges, and then, I don't know, maybe been, maybe not the same, but anyway, I liked the, the way this looked, and I liked the pipe coming through the wood with, uh, without anything there. So, anyway, I guess just design preference, but, um, the other other way I would have had just floor flanges like that on top of a pipe. Uh, so really I would've, all I would have had was four pipes and four, four floor flanges. Four floor flanges. Say that really fast a few times. So um, it wouldn't have been a lot to the project. So this way it kind of gives it some visual interest and adds a little bit to the project because you got to figure out where to um, drill those holes and also figure out the um, distance from here all the way to here has got to be less than your your shelf that you're working with and then also figuring out where this flange is going to connect to the bottom of the shelf and if this is even with the back of the shelf because if you leave any space between this flange here and the back of the shelf you're going to have a gap between the wall and the shelf and so if you have anything that rolls or whatever it may roll off from behind whatever you put this above in my case this is above the toilet in the bathroom and then you know we'll keep stuff up here and then that we don't use that often and then tiles and that kind of stuff here in the bath bathroom because my house is you have like the sinks and all, and then in a separate room, you have the shower and the toilet. So anyway, um, that's that's where that's going. I just wanted to show you a picture of it. It's, you know, it came out better than I expected. And, you know, I didn't want to just, like I said, have four pipes and those floor flanges and <laughs> that'd be it. So the, the way I did it this way is, is has a, a little bit of, figuring to do in the project so it adds a little bit to it so i'm happy with what it turns out so that's all i got for you today um today we released jay and i released the uh i get email video it was on build a shop i mentioned this yesterday but it released this morning so if you have not checked that out go over on my main channel or over on jay's channel either one and uh watch that video and um i think you'll enjoy it i, I liked it it was uh I always like thinking about a new shop and what I would do different and that kind of thing. So actually another friend of mine is fixing to go through uh, moving his shop out of his uh, current location and moving it. And so he's going to have to just start over. And so that's a good thing. It's also a bad thing because you have to move everything. But funny thing, funny story real quick. Um, my drill press that I was talking about just a few days ago or yesterday or day before yesterday uh he is he's got a newer drill press it's like, i think it's a, a win 
He, he got it from Amazon. Uh, but it's a really nice uh, drill press. It's not like a Grizzly or you know any of the, the fancy name brands, but it's a really nice drill press and it works great. And I've used it before. And so he's gonna let me use it in the shop here. Um, if he doesn't, he was gonna try to sell everything to start over, but if he doesn't sell it, I'm gonna use it here in the shop. So here I am talking about my drill press and now he's gonna let me use a uh, practically brand new drill press here. So I'll get to test it out. If I wanna buy one, that'll be a good test run. So I'll be sure to let you know, if I do have it in the shop, I'll be sure and let you guys know uh, how it is and um, what I like and don't like about it. So that'll be a good video too on this channel. All right, guys, you guys have a good day. We'll catch you later.